Construction number two is copying angle. This is one of the harder constructions to do well. You have to be very careful with how you move your compass and that you don't let it slip or open it up or close it more as you're moving things. But I'm going to copy that angle on to my baseline. I'm going to add a vertex here. And the first step is to take my compass and swing an arc across both rays. I've got angle ABC and I just open up A, a big. Swing across so it crosses both the rays. Then I'll come down and put the pointy part down on this vertex. Seem to be, and I'm swinging the exact same arc. It's got to be exactly the same so you don't let your compass shift when you move between these. So now I have both those arcs are the same, and I'm going to go back to the original angle and measure the gap. Where do you see that arc? How wide is that arc? So I'm going to use my compass to measure the gap here in the original angle and position it around until I get something that I'm happy with. That looks good. It's, a, it's, it's gonna pay off to take the time to do it well. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna bring it down here and I'm gonna set it up the same way. Here's the arc and I'm missing that one point. So I'm gonna swing a little thing and you're gonna find an X. And X is going to mark the spot where the other ray is going to come up. So take your straight edge and line it up with the vertex and through that X. And that is what the next ray should be drawn. Copy an angle. Now I could, if I want to you know, really see how accurate I am, I can take a protractor and see how I did. The first angle looked like it was around 30 degrees, and if I check the one I tried to copy, it looks like it's also around 30 degrees. So I did pretty well with that. Now if it's an obtuse angle, you're gonna do the same thing only it's going to be a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to open up my compass, yay big. I want to copy this obtuse angle. I'm going to swing a long arc. This time, because it's obtuse, I'm going to swing it all the way across. Don't let your compass move. Don't bump it or don't let it slip. Come up to the baseline and you're going to swing a big arc. The exact same size arc. And maybe then some. Make sure you did it long enough. So that looks good, and now I've got my compass. I'm setting up to measure the gap, and it's quite a gap now because it's an obtuse angle. And I come over and I'm going to copy the gap. And now you see that X is not so sharp, it's a pretty wide, flat X. So you got to take some time and line up your straight edge and draw your other ray. you'll find it should look pretty similar to it, hopefully. Copy an angle, whether it's acute or obtuse, copy an angle.